Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome to the second build request. Today's vehicle request actually comes from before I was taking requests, and I'm very sorry that I missed the comment. Despite Kevin commenting three months ago, I didn't actually receive a notification for the comments until he made a reply to the comment last week. Or perhaps I did receive a notification and I just missed it. But I'm going to blame YouTube anyway because it's easier. So sorry about the delay, Kevin, but I hope this video helps you anyway. So Kevin has asked, how do you build a UFO that spins? Which is actually an interesting challenge because controlling a vehicle while it's spinning is actually a little difficult. And so therefore, because I'm such a big fan of functionality, I decided that my spinning vehicle had to be maneuverable and controllable enough to actually successfully beat the Nutty Acres Challenge at Coconut with at least a jiggy time. So let's get talking about the design. As your lasty, and I apologize if that's not the correct pronunciation, but as your lasty suggested it, the best way to make a vehicle spin is opposing forces. If you place two jets on either side of your vehicle that are facing the opposite way, it'll cause your vehicle to spin. However, the issue with this, of course, is that doing so will cause your vehicle only to spin. You can make it take off and spin around and whatnot, but because your vehicle is entirely spinning, it's very difficult to control. It's sort of like a Beyblade. It's fun to play around with, but it's not exactly perfect for intergalactic travel. So what's the best solution for this? Well, I figured that if the issue is that you can't control a spinning disc, separate the spinning disc from the controls. And that's exactly what I did. So my spinning UFO is actually two parts. The inner layer in which the pilot seat sits is basically just a regular plane, and the outer layer is literally just a spinning disc. However, for these two pieces to actually work in harmony, there are a few things you must make sure you do. Firstly, and I'm sure quite unsurprisingly, they must actually be connected. Because your outer layer is spinning, it should be connected to the direct center of your vehicle. And by the same token, because it's spinning, the outer layer should also be symmetrical. I have my outer layer connected to the inner layer by using four tow bars, two on the top connecting the top of the inner layer to the ceiling of the outer layer, and two on the bottom connecting the bottom of the inner layer to the floor of the outer layer. I then have positioned on the four sides of the outer layer four super jets arranged in a way that will cause it to purposely spin. I've gone for four, not two, in order to give it the smoothest spin possible because any kind of disturbance in this spin cycle will affect the control of the vehicle. By making sure the connections to the inner layer are in the center, and by keeping the outer layer symmetrical allows the outer layer to spin without it affecting the orientation of the inner layer. What this means is that you can control the inner layer as you would a regular vehicle, and because of the way the outer layer is connected, it just has to come along for the ride. And so there you have it, your spinning UFO, which is actually functionable enough to do air coconut in jiggy time. In fact, I managed to do it in a trophy Thomas time. There are a few extra things you might have noticed I added to the vehicle, like the wheels on the inside. They don't actually make the outer shell spin faster, but they did seem to stabilize it a little bit, which made controlling the vehicle in general a lot easier. The rest of the vehicle are just fancy cosmetic pieces I put in to make it look more alien. So I hope this video helped, or at the very least entertained, some of you. And if you want to copy the vehicle into your own save, after I stop talking in a couple of seconds, there's going to be the layer by layer reconstruction of the vehicle, so just follow those simple steps to get a spinning UFO. And also, uploaded around the same time of this video, depending on how well the internet's keeping up with us, there will be the Grim Builds video of this vehicle, which is just a video of me building the spinning UFO from scratch for anyone who's interested in seeing it. And so, as always, until next time, I have been and still am Grim Grindle, and you have been watching the spinning UFO build request.